What's going on, people? I want to comment on someone having a welfare check done on young Pharaoh. Listen, and not just young Pharaoh, but other people that have a loved one or a friend or anyone that care enough about you to have a welfare check done for you. Don't fear that, man. The police is not there to take you. Now, the cop in that video did not seem hostile at all. He didn't seem like he was there to do any harm. Usually when they do a welfare check on you, someone called and said that they're concerned about your mental state, right? Especially if you were on video saying that you have a firearm and you had a female down on the floor and you had a gun to her and you were asking her questions like, are you loyal to me or do you trust me with your life? People are gonna people are concerned about that, man, because that's not normal behavior. And then when the police comes to your house, you start saying that he was there to kill you. You start talking about your ancestors, which he have no knowledge of your ancestors. He don't know what you're talking about. He was only called there to do a welfare check on you to see if everything was okay. He had even mentioned that he smelled marijuana and that, but he's not there. He said, I have probable cause, but I'm not there for that. I'm just there to do a welfare check. And he mentioned Golden, of course, because somebody that's not in your circle called them. And it could have been anybody on the internet because the same thing happened with Tommy Sotomayor. They called the police with Tommy Sotomayor. What I would have done in that situation, I would have allowed the police in the house. If you have nothing to hide, I would have said, sure, come on in. I wouldn't have mentioned nothing about you're here to kill me. I wouldn't have mentioned nothing about, you know, my ancestors. We're just here worshiping ancestors. And he's telling you, I'm calling because someone had a concern because you had a firearm that you uh, had at a female saying, do you trust me with your life? She urinated on your sofa. That's not normal behavior, right? And then you got people around you that's leaving you. There's a reason why people are leaving you. Your bodyguard left you. There's a reason behind that. So in a situation like that, what I would have done, I would have told the police, come on in. Hey, come on in, man. Look around. I got nothing to hide. Everything is well here. Allow him to question the people in the house. Is everything okay? Is everybody safe here? Uh, where's Golden at? Because her name was mentioned. Where's Golden at? She doesn't live here. Um, look around. Allow him to look around. Allow him to hear you in your mind, in your, that you're stable, that your mind is stable. Allow him to see that and hear that. And then he goes on about his way. When he get back, we checked on them. Everything is fine. Nobody's being held against their will there. Um, he seems like a pretty nice guy. But if you go to the door saying like, I'm not letting you in. I don't trust police. Um, you know, you might kill me. Um, I'm here We're just worshiping my ancestors. I'm not bothering nobody. That's suspicion. You're only drawing more problems to yourself. So the best thing for you to do, everybody is not your enemy, bro. And I've seen this happen before. And I made videos on this in the past where I've seen people that, that follow the same path that Pharaoh's following, study the same information that Pharaoh study. The young man was like in his early 20s. He had to be about 21, 22 years old. And he lost his mind. You know, he lost his mind. He was selling, he made like a few grand selling bootleg DVDs. And his mind was so messed up. He took the money. He took the money to the police station and just dropped it on the front desk. You know, he felt that it was wrong and it was just crazy. And I seen him walking down the street barefooted, hair all over the place. And he's just like just in the cold walking just out of his mind, man. So you have certain information. Um, and it's not saying that you can't learn. It's, it's not saying that you can't read. But when you start tampering with certain information you start doing things like channeling and um bruh, transcendental meditation 
that's not listen transcendental meditation was not good in the 70s and it's not good now right you open portals man you let things in that should not come in and usually people that's possessed in many cases they're not aware that they're possessed they think it's normal right and although you're very smart, you're a very smart young man, you study. Yes, you read a lot of books, man. You got your university, you got your trucking company, but something is not right, you know. And there's people that, of course, you have your haters out there, but you have people that's only concerned about you, Pharaoh. So what I would do, personally speaking, is open your door to them, right? We came to do a welfare check. Somebody called. They were concerned about you. Come on in. You know, come on in. Let them look around. See what's going on. You're smoking weed. They can smell it. So you can't hide it. And he said that, you know, that's probable cause. But we're not here for that. But just let him in. See that you cool. You know, let him talk to the people, man. Put um, Golden on the, on, the, on the phone, like the video. Let him talk to her. You know, and once he see that everything is well, everything is fine, he go on about his merry way you're good, right? But the way you responded would only make things worse and it would only heighten your paranoia because everybody is not out to kill you, bro. Everybody's not out to take your life, right? It's just not like that. So um, certain information, man, and I made a video on that. It can drive you insane, man, especially when you open yourself up to things and you open yourself up to uh, different types of energy or, 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 or spirit or whatever. You can't talk to everybody about everything. There's a certain things you may know, you may have experienced that you can't even mention because there's people that don't believe in that, they have not had that experience and they will think that something is wrong with you, all right? So it is like information I know, there's things I've experienced that I don't even mention to the average person because I know that they're not equipped to handle it. So I keep it to myself. There's certain experiences you keep to yourself, right? So that's what I gotta say, but bruh, um, I'm concerned about you. Um, Everybody don't hate you, right? Of course, you do have your haters out there, but you don't give them anything to talk about. Don't give them things to talk about, you know? And you put, I don't know how many videos so far on the internet today, one after another, one after another, you know? Bro, something is not right. And you don't want them to put you on a 5150. That's involuntary. That's when they actually come in your house and take you involuntarily if they think that you are a danger to yourself or someone else, you know? And you say you wanna see your kids, that's not a good way to see your kids because I'm sure the child's mom is not gonna allow you around them kids by yourself in that state of mind, right? So you don't want no 5150, bro, where they tell you like, oh, we take you involuntarily because we have probable cause to believe that you are not stable, see? So the best thing to do, open the door, let them in, let them look around, let them question people, um, and then go from there. But the way you're handling things, bro, you seem quite paranoia, man. You seem quite paranoid, you know, and you can't speak on everything you know. So, Feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the cash app, support the channel. Until next time, I'm fearless.